Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. It is officially that day in the college football recruiting cycle where the number one player in the country finally decides where they're going to be going. And this is a little special because the number one player in the country is none other than Arch Manning, the nephew of Eli and Peyton Manning, and he decided to be a Texas Longhorn. That video I made a couple weeks ago didn't really age that well, but you know, hey. Arch chose Texas over Georgia and Alabama, and the writing was a little bit on the wall when his three-star tight end teammate Will Randall chose to commit to the Texas Longhorns as well a couple of days ago. Like I said in my video a couple of days ago, I thought for sure because Quinn Ears is at Texas right now, I thought for sure that Arch Manning was not going to Texas just because those are two high-profile guys who are going to be at the same school. However, it just worked out like that. Now, according to 24-7 Sports, this is Texas's highest-rated recruit of all time. So let's jump into the video and see what type of quarterback the Texas Longhorns are going to be getting. Be sure to leave this video a like and also comment down below how you guys feel about the Texas Longhorns picking up Arch Manning. And be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications because we be giving you up-to-date college football recruiting news all the time. Let's jump into it. Three, two, one. All right, let's see what type of quarterback the Longhorns are going to be getting. Hey. Ar get, picking up Arch Manning, that's that's a massive pickup. Hey, I, I don't know what Texas is doing. I know that they're building up a program because heading into the SEC in a couple years, what a throw. Heading into the SEC in a couple years, they got to really reevaluate, read his talent up. And, but first off, let's just look at this Arch Manning, bro. Look at the throwing motion. His throwing motion is so compact. It is so, like, to me, he has the purest throwing motion in the entire class. Like, and it's not even close. Like, his throwing motion is beautiful. But yeah, comment down below, because I've been seeing everybody saying, like, oh, Texas football is back, Texas football is back. For my Texas fans, what does that actually look like for y'all? Does Texas being back meaning that you guys are winning your conference every single year? Does it mean getting to the college football playoffs consistently? Does it mean being in the national title talk every single year? Like, what, is, what does Texas football back mean to Texas fans? Because I'm not going to lie, Texas is going to have a lot on his plate heading to the SEC. But if they're able to keep on recruiting like this, hey, y'all y'all going to have a good chance of, of just at least contending for the conference title every year, which if, if you're in the SEC, that means you're also going to be in the top four as well. Yeah, to me, Arch Manning is the most college ready of all the quarterbacks. I don't think he has the highest ceiling out of all the quarterbacks, but to me, he does. He is the most college ready. I mean, throwing motion is on point. He can read defenses. He can lead. He's got all the fundamental mechanical things that you're looking for in a quarterback. It's just more so I don't think his ceiling is as high as some of the other quarterbacks in the class. But I mean, his throwing motion and on top of the fact that we haven't really seen it so far yet. I mean, look at the throw. The ball placement is beautiful right there. Look at this ball placement. Boom. Gets the ball out of his hands ridiculously quickly leaves that ball perfect because at, at this point this corner is still in play and this safety rolling over top you have to leave this to the boundary like you cannot miss this anywhere inside and he just throws a dime but yeah we haven't even really seen him use his legs which he can move like he is an actual mobile quarterback i think the hardest part with arch manning is he's just been absent he's just been out of the out of the public's eye for so long i mean he hasn't I don't think he's on any seven on seven. And actually, I don't think I know he's not on any seven on seven team. He's not in the elite 11. Nobody has seen him go up against really anybody. And it's not like he plays in some like powerhouse conference. Like Isidore Newman's a solid team in Louisiana, but they're not like a top nationally ranked team. So it's just kind of hard to rank him because it's like he we just haven't seen him, which I want you guys to comment down below. Why do you think that Arch Manning hasn't done anything in the in this offseason? He hasn't been in any seven on sevens. He hasn't done any Elite 11, nothing. Like, he's literally just been ghost. He's just been taking recruiting visits. I think he would be able to hold his own. Like, honestly, like, it's not like he's a bad quarterback by any means. He's one of the best quarterbacks in the class. I don't know why he just went ghost. I guess when you're the number one guy, the only place to go is down. So you might as well just stay at the top. So that's what Texas can expect from Arch Manning once he gets to campus. Hey. Arch Manning, we haven't even seen what he could do with his legs. He's actually a fairly mobile quarterback, so 
that's a whole other component to his game that we haven't even seen in his highlight tape. But like I was saying in the video, to me, it's really hard just to establish exactly the type of quarterback that Arch Manning is. I mean, we just, we haven't seen him since his junior year. He hasn't done any seven on seven camps. He hasn't done anything with the Elite 11. He hasn't, he just hasn't been outside. Like he hasn't, like the seven on seven tournament, you can say whatever you want as it being just like a glorified, just like, oh, it's just passing league. Like it's not real football, but at least you do get to see what like you're seeing four and five star quarterbacks with four and five star receivers go up against four and five star corners and safeties like it it helps you kind of get a, a, a better picture of like the type of quarterback that you have on your hands but again if you're the number one guy there's only one place you can go which is down so you might as well just stay out of the way and just stay at the number one spot because lord knows nothing's gonna move arch manning down from number one but texas can expect to get a college ready quarterback i mean this dude's fundamental like all the technical stuff of playing quarterback, Arch Manning has that down to a T. I think out of all the quarterbacks, Arch Manning has the highest floor, but I also think that he has a mid-level ceiling. I don't. I think a guy like Malachi Nelson or Nico Iamalavea, I think they have higher ceilings, but I also think that they have lower floors. So I think that Arch Manning is the safest, but not safe as in like he doesn't have the height. It's just he's the safest because he's just the most college ready out of all the quarterbacks in this year's class. But again, I'm excited to see what y'all have to say in the comment section down below. Be sure to comment down below what you guys think of Arch Manning choosing the Texas Longhorns over Alabama and Georgia. Also, be sure to leave this video a like and hit that subscribe button and turn on all your notifications so you stay on top of all the latest college football recruiting news. And with all that being said, I love and appreciate all y'all. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.